The robotics team of American Heritage gives students an opportunity to engage in a hands-on approach to engineering. The team, calling themselves the Ninjineers, stemmed from the success of the Engineering Club three years ago, and since then has grown to 24 members. Right now, as we're moving on to an ever more technological world, and as computers and robotics robots are taking over in the future, it's important that high schoolers get involved in this type of program. Since its founding, the robotics team at American Heritage has entered the U.S. first robotics competition every year, which requires students to build a robot from scratch. The team raised funds for the trip to Orlando, Florida by showcasing their robot to the public at a local mall. The U.S. First Robotics Competition, I believe, has been in existence for about 10 years. We've only competed for the last three years. It's a learning curve over time. The first year we were pretty blown away. We really weren't sure what we were getting into. But in a couple of years, we've made great strides, and I look forward to winning it. The 2010 competition consisted of a little over 1,800 teams from around the world with original robots competing against each other in a soccer match. The engineers placed 28 out of the 53 teams in their series of games. It's really important for kids to get involved in something, and robotics kind of grabs if you're good with artistics, you could design a logo, or if you're good with marketing, you could help us get funds together. It's a really good way to bring a lot of kids together with something they love to do. And